Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, August 1st. I just picked up my first order of the day. Uber Eats, $10 for one point, I don't know, 1.2 miles. It's going to a retirement home though, so I'm not sure. She put meet at door and I have no room number so I just assume she's gonna meet me at the front I guess I have no idea we'll see okay so it was not for for somebody that work that lived there it's for somebody that worked there so it makes more sense that I didn't have a room number basically you can't enter those places without a map so that's always good that I always have one old one with me because she was like, hey, can you leave it at the lobby? And on the door it says like, you may not enter if you're not having like wearing a mask or whatever. And I was at the front and they were all looking at me like I was the devil or something. I was like, yeah, okay. Basically, the first time I called, she didn't answer and I was like, oh, that's gonna be fun. And then I sent her a message, I was like, hey, I'm at the door, like, where should I meet you? And then I called again and she was like, oh, I got caught up with something, can you leave it at the front lobby? And then the lady at the, at the, at the front, she was like, hey, can you come around and leave it on the shelves? So basically, they have, like, shelves for, like, packages and stuff behind, so I left it there and I sent her a message saying, hey, I left it with the blonde lady at the at the front so it should be all right okay i've been waiting a little bit right now i just got a 39 dollar order you know i was um getting orders and i was like you know what nine dollars for six miles like i can't bring myself to do this like it's just not possible i was like you know what it's just too much it's too far it's gonna take me 12 miles because I have to come back, right? And all of this for $9. <laughs> and I was like... Uh, there, was, there were orders, like... At some point I was receiving order after order after order, but it was just bad orders. And it's been the trend with the lunch times. Um, like $18 for 10.7 miles. Uber Eats like it's not a good order it's only 19 items it's a house it's a live at my door I don't know why it's uh, such um, a high payout I guess it's because the DoorDash base pay is good and she tipped well so the items are she has a few like packs of cans but for $39 I will take them I don't care cop salad Santa Fe salad Potato salad, veggies and dip snack. La Croix, La Croix, La Croix. So she has three packs of eight cans. Chicken breast, pork, spare ribs, shrimps, blueberries, strawberries, bell peppers, iceberg lettuce, mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, spinach, and sushi. Right, done it was not a complicated shop but she has not she didn't choose replacements okay she didn't choose replacements for produce so I was unable to make replacements she's six minutes away she was a little bit long to enter she was like oh I'm sorry um, I'm working remotely she was probably in like a meeting or something it's fine she answered while I was still in there $39 for this all day every day honestly this order is easier than some of the $12 order that I do on a daily basis okay so it was a leave at my door but she opened the door super nice and she tips immensely well, $20. Okay, just arrived at the hot spot. I got a $19 order for Pavilion. The items are pretty easy. It is an apartment and it's handed to me. She didn't give any gate code, but we'll see. Maybe she will meet me at the door, I don't know. All right, so. Mango mixed baked chicken. 
chicken Caesar salad, medium melon medley bowl, simply lemonade strawberry, and two Doritos. Okay, that's done finally. Um, it took me 15 minutes to shop because so the chicken Caesar salad or whatever that she had I don't know where the hell that is but that was not in stock like I looked everywhere it's not the deli salad because if it was it would not be worded this way she wanted like 24 ounces but all of the packaging that I saw was like 14 15 I found another one that was close enough so I was like hey do you want this one she was like okay and then even though I was able to scan it <laughs> When I was searching for it, I scanned it and DoorDash was like, no, it's the wrong one. So it knows what it is. When I scanned it to replace it, it was like, item not found in our database. I was like, well, that's great. So I was not able to replace this one. So then I found another one and she was like, pictures. And I was sending pictures. I'm not completely stupid. And I was like, are you not receiving the pictures that I'm sending? And then she was like, no, this one has lettuce. And I was like, how the hell do you want a salad without salad in it? Like, how does it even make sense? I don't understand you guys. And then she was like, okay. So I was like, but well, it's the same one. Like, I was like, you said no. And then you said yes to the exact same salad that I sent you. So it was confusing. All right, done. She was waiting for me at the door like I expected her to do. She was super nice. All right, maybe I should change the gear. Um, it is currently 3.03 p.m. So I'm gonna go back to the hotspot. It did take me out of my zone, but not too much. All right, it is currently 3.52 p.m. and I have picked up an order $15 for four miles on Uber Eats. I'm not sure why this order is this big. Um, I know that name is such like a, a specific name, but I know that name on DoorDash and it's not the same address. So I don't know if it's the same person or not. Could be. Like it's exactly the same name with the same first letter of the last name. So. It's such a unique name. It's a leave at my door, so I will probably not know. It's a house, so we should be fine. Okay, that's delivered. Uh, it took longer than what I thought it would. Like, it's almost around where I live. I thought it was closer than that, but it was an easy delivery leave a door which I did and on the way I got a $23.50 order for Target but it's like Target that is really far away from me like the one I went uh, that is like nine miles away from my house so basically the this order is like nine miles but I'm like I'm literally seven miles away from the store to so leave at my door it's a house So big. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. Okay. That person has not tipped. I I already know this person has not tipped. Ten packs of twenty-four bottles. So I already know there is there are not that many, right? So no. Uh, I mean, I refuse to do that. I can't even put ten in my car. Like it's just not possible. Uh, I can't get that many in my car. So I I could maybe get like three four at most uh, so no then whipped cream cheese cosmic brownies kings of wine rolls peanut butter smuckers raspberry sliced bread butter top coffee creamer cereals and arizona green tea I already know that DoorDash will up the 
base pay for heavy items. So the fact that it's $23 make me think that that person has tipped zero dollars. Like not even one or two dollars, zero dollars. Eh. We will see after I finish this order. All right, that's done. It took me a good 25 minutes to arrive to the store because there was traffic and I was, I was 15 minutes away, first of all. Everything was in stock except the coffee creamer and something else i don't remember oh yeah the cereals the cocoa pebbles they were not in stock they had the normal ones and she's 15 minutes away like she's not close at all that's how i know that she has not tipped because first of all she ordered 10 10 <laughs> water packs first of all so that's that's humongous right and then she is 14 minutes away. I'm not sure how they meters. calculate that, but there is something wrong here. Like she's she's really far. Like she's 14 kilometers away. So that's that's nine miles. And I was five miles away from the store. Five or six miles. So there's a problem here. Uh, so I only got three packs of water because because first of all, I can't get more. <laughs> like I have a mean, I don't have a pickup truck or anything. Like I can't carry 10 water packs. Second of all, I think it's unreasonable to ask, to expect somebody to deliver 10 water packs to your house for no tip. Like I'm pretty sure there is no tip on that order. And I will see when I deliver, but honestly, I went for 10 water packs, I'm not sure. that basically when there are 10 packs of water like this order had the base pay is gonna be really high because it's heavy items right and then she was nine miles from the store so that also pushes the, um, the base pay up they they live in the in the gated community they live in like a freaking mansion they have the money to tip like it's not like you don't have the money so I don't think you should have any expectations regarding all of this like you know sometimes people just don't deserve you to go above and beyond like there was 10 in stock but I'm not willing to, to, to deliver 10 to you and I can't my car is not gonna I mean with the three already in the car uh, the car was like having trouble so I can't have 10 of those in my car but at the same time, even if I could, I don't think she deserves it. Like 10 packs of water for zero dollar tip. Can you imagine that? The entitlement of those people? That's why sometimes don't stress, don't sweat it. Like it does not matter if you get them the correct amount of items, especially when it's like super heavy and you're alone to do that. Like it's not like I have somebody else to do that with me, to do this with me and help me to drive and carry it from the car to the house like i don't so no please and thank you i just declined a 30 dollar order but that was going 12 miles and that was just me going to the store like the store i know where it is it's next to my house and then she lived 
around here so that would have been 24 miles and I don't think it's worth it and I don't know the store all right that's done it was a handed to me but dude didn't open the door the whole time I was I mean it's better this way so I can do my own stuff and I don't have to be bothered by the guy. I had the time to deliver everything in peace and then take a picture. And then he came and he opened like a little thing in the door thingy. And um, so basically, when I arrived uh, uh, at the end of the checkout, it said on the pin pad, your order qualifies for a Target gift card. And the girl at the checkout, like self-checkout, she was like, oh yeah, it's just like promotional, so it's, it's just for free. And I was like, okay. So I gave it to him, I, was, I mean, I was like, should I keep it for myself? And then I was like, you know what? I'm not the one paying for the groceries. And he was like, oh, okay. He, I don't think he understood what I said. I was like, it's, it was free, it was, the, the order was qualifying for a free gift card, so it's yours, just, just take it, you know. And uh, yeah, I was like, have a good night, and left. So, super easy delivery. And uh, it is currently 6.39pm, pretty good day so far. I was, I was actually right to not accept this $30 for 12 miles see because I got this one instead so pretty happy with that I accepted a pavilion order for $14 nine items it's for I accepted it because I know who it is it's for Latea I have delivered to her plenty of times she's probably gonna send me the gate code uh, when I'm gonna start shopping, I think I remember it anyway. So six vi vitamin water, one Oreo package, uh, Milky Way, and artisanal style bread. Okay, start. That was an easy shop. The Oreo was not in stock, so she had to replace, but she chose a replacement within the app, so I didn't have to text her this time. And slow charging, I know. For the vitamin water, um, she wanted six and they only had two of this one, so I grabbed two. Maybe I waited two minutes at checkout. It wasn't that long. Okay, we are done. $14 in, I don't know, 20 minutes. I don't know anymore. Okay. go it is currently 7 44 p.m Whew, i'm starting to feel like tired to be honest if i could make another 40 dollars that'd be great i have been waiting for maybe 20 minutes um nothing's happening it has slowed down it's 8 30 p.m right now I had a few orders that were really low. Um, it was like eight dollars for five miles. Uh, it's just not at the threshold that I wanted. Like you know, it's it's just not enough. You know what I mean? And I got a $27 order. I don't know what's going on today, but I am blessed with orders. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of miles because I am eight miles from the store. So it's not the target that I was earlier. It's the target that's next to my house. So it's far. <laughs> It's far away and then it's going like west. She's not too far, so that's good. That will be my last order of the day because there is just no point in me going back down south to pavilions 
considering that the hotspot restaurants are closing in 30 minutes. So that would make... That, that, that would just be stupid. The items are watermelon juice, simply lemonade strawberry, black tea, Hershey. All right, that's done. When I arrived, it was pretty packed out, out there. And I guess they all left. <laughs> they all left during uh, while I was shopping, basically. All right, 12 minutes away to, from the customer. To leave at my door anyway. A lot of Coca-Cola cans today. Everything was in stock. Like, can you believe it? I don't think you guys realize. <sighs> like, this is unprecedented. Right, delivered. She tipped $10, that's pretty good. And there was parking right in front of her place. So that's amazing. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. It helps for the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next one.